when you finish your product, how the hell you know it's a fertilizer? Right? How, how can you prove it is a fertilizer? So we turn into farmer. So me and my engineers become farmer. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of The Clumsy Gardener. This is part two of my Qingyuan visit to Magic Season Organics. To my left right here is the plant, is the factory, if you will, where they ferment and process and create their fertilizer that they use at their farm. Mm. That's the good stuff that makes everything grow really well out here. Smells really strong though. On the previous episode, founder Raymond Kuang and I took a road trip up here to Qingyuan. This farm produces organic vegetables that are sold in Hong Kong and we managed to get a good look at the whole process. But all of this began as a company that made fertilizers. And now, it's time to see how all the chicken poop is turned into organic gold in this unsuspecting facility just 10 minutes away. And they've given us full access. Let's go! Whoa. So right behind me on these two pallets here is their liquid fertilizer. They just emptied it out a little bit earlier before we got here uh, into these large containers. It's still actually hot. It's really, really quite warm. Quick breakdown of the process used here. The acronym ATAT stands for Autothermal Thermophilic Aerobic Digestion. Autothermal means it heats up on its own without something like fire. Thermophilic refers to the bacteria's ability to tolerate high temperatures. Aerobic means the process needs oxygen. And digestion is, well, uh, what this is all about. Okay, so this is where it all begins right here, up these, up these stairs. Hmm. So the chicken manure, it comes here, it goes up these stairs, it goes down uh, that machine over there, and it gets processed. Anything that they don't want, any impurities, if you will, feathers, things that they don't want to have in their fertilizer gets processed out, gets sorted out, and then it gets put into these containers, which then go into a large fermentation tank over there. In there, the bacteria is added, it heats up. Uh, whoa, careful, Josh, don't step in that. Uh, uh, mm. And the bacteria starts to consume, it eats the manure, and what that means is that uh, they multiply. Some strains of bacteria tolerate up to 100 degrees Celsius. The one they use peaks and sustains at 90 degrees. High temperature is crucial because chicken manure may have pathogens like salmonella, which this heat can kill. The whole process takes just a day. One kilogram of chicken manure can generate a little less than one kilogram of undiluted fertilizer. So one set's ready. Ooh. Fertilizer is split into two different types. You've got liquid and then you've got the solid. The liquid is what they use primarily at the farm. One reason why they prefer to use it at the farm is because it's absorbed quicker by the plants. But the solid fertilizer stores for longer. So it has its own benefits as well. One part of fertilizer needs to be diluted with about 20 to 50 parts of water, depending on the crop and its stage of growth. But there's one question that still needs to be asked. What makes the fertilizer so nutritious? We select the uh, bacteria that have a high protein content. When they die, your substrate will have lots of protein, you know, which is nitrogen, which is good for plant. Because when, when they're growing, they create lots of amino acids, which is good for the plants, and also the growth hormone. I've had a lovely time up in these mountains and enjoyed a healthy portion of organic veg with a side of warm local hospitality. But alas, my garden calls me home. I guess this toilet is occupied. Sorry. <laughs> I'll come back later. <laughs>